Hey everybody, it's Mr. Nordhausen coming to you live from the home studio. Hope everybody's doing well out there in video world. I've got an awesome clarinet solo for you today. It is called Andante and Waltz. Here it is right here. No, 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 All right. It is by Mr. Nilo Hovey and Mr. Belden Leonard. I wanted to make sure I say that right. They wrote this together in 1968, so just a couple years ago, you know? Um, the Andante and the Waltz, really self-explanatory. There's an Andante section, there's a Waltz section, and then the Andante comes back again. So in the initial Andante section, we have no sharps or flats in our key signature, so you're going to be wanting to use middle finger B natural. Let me show you that on the clarinet there. So, you know, here's your three finger C and then middle finger B natural right there. We're going to want that one, okay? No sharps, no flats. Um, We've got some opportunities for expression and dynamics. We've got a mezzo forte we start off with, a day crescendo down to measure nine there. Uh, piomoso, piomoso means a little more motion. So we're gonna speed up ever so slightly here at measure nine, but we're gonna slow down right here at measure 10, 11, 12, where it says RIT, which is the abbreviation for retardando, which means to slow down. So we slow down on the return down to a measure 12, and then back here at measure 13, there's a notice that says a tempo. A tempo means original tempo. So we're gonna go back to the original tempo. So again, we play our original tempo all the way till measure nine. We speed up slightly at measure nine. We slow down at measure 12. We go back to the original tempo at 13, and then we slow down again here at measure 16, because there's another retardando. Then at measure 21, we get into the waltz section and it says giocoso. That means happy and lively. So we're gonna really pump it up speed wise. Instead of the initial quarter note equals 85 to 90 for the andante speed, we're gonna go more like 120, 130 for the waltz section. So up here at the beginning where we've got the da di da da di da da, very smooth and lyrical and connected, uh, we're gonna have similarly, but different here, we're gonna be happy and lively. We're gonna have tia ta ta tia ta ta tia ta ta ta. So you do get some of the smooth connected on those eighth note passages, tia, like the andante, but then we have these staccato dots on the quarter notes. Staccato means to play short. In fact, it means to play exactly half of the value it's on. So these staccato dots are on quarter notes. So that means you're gonna play them more as if they were eighth notes followed by an eighth note rest. So without them, you'd go tia ta ta, tia ta ta. But with those staccato dots, you're actually gonna go tia ta ta, tia ta ta. Hopefully you can hear the difference there and hopefully you can make that difference when you're playing it on your clarinet. Um, we've got some dynamics to contend with, a crescendo here leading into measure 29, a day crescendo down here. Um, but that's about it for the waltz section. Pretty self-explanatory. Then at measure 41, we have a return to the andante, just like before. Um, we're smooth, we're connected, we're lyrical, there's no more staccatos, but again, we do have the changing speeds. At 49, we have another piomoso, so we're gonna speed up slightly. And then a couple bars later, we have the ritardando, so we're gonna slow it back down. Then we have the a tempo, so we're back to the original 85 to 90-ish tempo. And then at the very end, poco a poco ritardando. Poco a poco means little by little, and then ritardando, as we discussed, means slow down. So little by little, slow down. And then at the very end, on our final A, Morendo. Morendo means to die or fade away. So you're gonna want that just that final note to kind of fade away, as opposed to making a hard stop to it. So just let it fade away. So that's Andante and Waltz. Um, again, about 85 to 90 on your metronome for the Andante section, and about 120 to 130 for the Waltz section. Um, let's get to it, shall we? Here we go. All right, and here we go with Andante and Waltz. Now, I'm gonna start the metronome audibly so that everybody can hear it at quarter note equals 85, but I'm gonna stop it soon after because in order to do this Pio Molso and Ritardando, a Tempo Ritardando, I can't fluctuate and change the metronome as I go. Um, so I'm just gonna start the metronome and then I'm gonna cut it 
uh, and then I will do all of these different tempo markings. During the four bar rest, I'll reset the metronome for the 120. That I can leave on the entire time, and then I'll reset it for 85 again, but I will cut it because I'm going to need to. All right, here we go. There's 85, okay? Get that tempo stuck in your head. And here we go. Okay, now I'm going to reset my metronome for 120, which is here, so quite a bit faster. And now I'm going to play the Measure 21 Geocasso Fun Lively section. One, two, three, one, ready. <gasps> Reset my 85. There's that tempo for measure 41. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <gasps> Happy practicing.